Hey there guys, just wanted to let you know that the Patreon for DMO73 Gaming has just relaunched, so if you want to support the channel and get access to our exclusive uh, Discord server community, as well as lots of other cool exclusive rewards, go check it out. Uh, there's a link on the screen right now, that's patreon.com slash dm073. And with that out of the way, enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DMO73 here bringing you the spoiler article for today. We are seeing blue support for mermaids and the weather is rain. But this is from the set Ancient Knights, not the structure deck. So I'm hoping it has the same kind of exciting support that it did for red for Kyrick in the structure deck that we see today. Uh, so we start off with Waterfowl, who is a two drop, one blue, one colorless bird that has flying. Birds finally have flying! Oddly enough, it's a penguin, which... Okay, doesn't have flying, but anyway. Um, 4-6 and it becomes a 5-8 as long as the weather is rain. So not too bad. Probably going to be something that definitely spruces up the structure deck. And then we have Thunderfish who is a 1-drop 2-2 two -two that says when this card enters your field, target resonator doesn't recover during its controller's next recovery phase. So this could potentially be really, really good, but its stat line's kind of mediocre. Um, it's based on, I can see this being a counter card against like ramp decks, like they play um, you an elf, and then maybe play a three drop on their turn two, and then you play Thunderfish as a one drop to lock it down so they can't play a four drop next turn or something else like that. But that's still kind of meh. Uh, I could also see it being used to like tap down, keep something locked down so then you can like answer it the next turn, maybe attack into it or something like that. Also, still kind of weird, but an interesting concept nonetheless, being able to lock things down and not have them recover. And then when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, if the weather's raining, you draw a card. So if you could die dies on your turn, then ta-da, if you're playing Shayla, or if you have an effect, uh, you'll get to replace it, which is okay, but not super exciting. Um, definitely good to see, though, that there's a little bit more interaction coming from the mermaid deck. Next up, we have Shayla's Elite, 2-drop 6-6 six, six Mermaid. When this card enters your field, search your deck for any mermaid not named Shayla's Elite, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So this is good. This is the same kind of support that I was looking for in terms of consistency. Um, also, to note, this is a base rare, so this is probably going to look really good full art. Um, but, like, the fact that if you're playing mermaid deck, you can play this and search out whatever mermaid you need. So, you can kind of keep the consistency going and moving on from there. So, just interesting. And the stat line's not bad for a two drop, so pretty good. Next up, we have the Ocean Floor Archelon. Archelon? I can't pronounce things. Archelon, uh, maybe. Six drop, six two thousand. Um, blocking doesn't cause this resonate card to rest. And you can pay four will to give it plus four plus ten until the end of the turn, and it can't be blocked until end of turn. So if we didn't have Heteroclite Excalibur, I'd probably be all about this card. The problem is Heteroclite Excalibur exists, so paying one black to kill this thing instantly for five life is pretty simple. Um, but, you know, I could see this guy seeing some play, especially if you manage to play him in your pre-release. Like, if you manage to stick this guy and we don't see a ton of hard removal come out of the set, once this guy sticks, you're probably not going to take damage for the rest of the game, so pretty interesting. Uh, next up we have Shayla's Foresight, just like Amaterasu's Foresight. So it's two drop quick cast. It says choose one, but if your J slash ruler is Shayla, you get to choose up to three. Uh, and it has four modes. So mode one is put target attacking resonator on top of its owner's deck, or put a target addition on top of its owner's deck, or target player shuffles all magic stones from their graveyard into their magic stone deck, um, then shuffles all of their cards from their graveyard into their deck, or draw a card. So you can bounce an attacker, pop, uh, answer an addition for temporarily, shuffle a graveyard and stone guard, and, or draw a card. For two drop, this is pretty good. I know a lot of people will like harken back to uh, Z's, which is a very, very powerful card that had four modes. Um, so Shayla gets to use three of these modes, which is pretty cool. Um, but those effects are, you know, multimodal cards provide utility, and I definitely think could be something that sees a lot of play, especially considering the fact that we don't have Horn of the Sacred Beast anymore. Being able to shuffle your graveyard in could be really good for control decks. Uh, next up we have Confinement, who is a one-drop quick cast with Remnant that says target resonator cannot attack. I almost want to like this card. My only problem is I love that it has Remnant, I love that it's cheap. Um, I need I needed this to say J slash res. Um, 
If it was just resonators, I mean, that's okay, um, but it doesn't really impact the board and you don't even draw a card from it. Um, so it just kind of feels like you're not really doing anything and your opponent could just be like, okay, well, I guess I just don't attack with it. Um, if this was J Resonators, I definitely would see this card being very good, but unfortunately at this moment I'm just really not, especially since we have stuff like Shayla, who wants to get rid of attacking Resonators anyway, so I'm not sold on this. Next up we have Seabed Investigation, 2 drop. Look at the top card, 4 cards of your deck, put a card from among them into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your deck, so any card you want from those, don't have to reveal it. And if you control a mermaid, which Shayla's a mermaid, so your ruler's gonna start there, put two of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your deck. So I really like this for Shayla as well, being able to play two will, to essentially draw two cards, um, and you get to kind of pick what the cards you're gonna see. I really, really like that. So definitely, um, definitely cool to see that consistency being given to Shayla. Um, so next we have Keys. Um, call, which I think is probably the most impactful card of this spoiler set. So it's a one drop blue, it says cancel target automatic ability of a resonator and draw a card. This means that we don't have um, Prison of the Lunar Link anymore, but you can use this card instead and it replaces itself. So if you're not playing black or your Abdul gets killed, you still have ways to be able to deal with automatic abilities. Definitely see this card being used a lot in sideboards. Fox is very, very powerful moving into post rotation. Uh, and Key's Call just gets to say, oh, you sacrificed your one stone? Okay, well, you have a Griffin, that's cool, but you don't have any other stones now, so good luck. Um, so I definitely see this being pretty good uh, for um, counter Fox tech. But that is it for today, guys. Um, really excited about this stuff. Good to see good support from the Mermaid deck. Uh, and then we'll get the Rayla structure deck. No, sorry. The Raya structure deck tomorrow with darkness and stuff. So keep on the lookout for the spoilers there. Um, and then, uh, so that's it for, yeah, like I said, that's it for now. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment sections down below, and please support the channel on Patreon and get become a part of our Discord server. Um, really means a lot to us and helps keep the channel going. So until next time, guys, this is DMO73 signing off.